Hi and welcome back to the second part of my one release 10 cards video. I posted yesterday 5 cards using products from the latest release by Altenew and today I'm going to post 5 more. I'm going to work with the Always There stamp set from the latest release. It's a gorgeous layering uh, flower stamp set and uh, there are also matching dies. And here is the leaflet with lots of ideas on how you can use this stamp set and I love that in the stamp set you get uh, the outline of the flowers as well as uh, stamps, solid stamps for uh, doing the layering and there are also lots of sentiments. I'm using my Misty here to do all the stamping and I'm starting with the outlines of uh, the flowers and the leaves. I'm going to take this piece out and bring in another one so that I can stamp one more time. I need the smaller flower one more time and I also need a couple of leaves more. At this stage I don't know how many of the leaves I will need for my flower composition so I like to have enough. Now I will continue with the layers just like I did uh, with all the rest of the layering cards that I shared yesterday. So I'm starting with the first uh, solid layer to cover up completely the leaves and um, you can see how convenient it is since I can uh, stamp twice without having to move anything. Now I'm going to layer the second stamp and then I will go with a darker shade of green. And I'm getting some lovely shadows at uh, the center of my leaves. Now I will continue doing the same thing for the rest of the leaves and then I will move on to color the flowers using again the layers. For the first two flowers I'm going with purple shades and for the other flower I will use uh, oranges and yellows. And here are all my stamped images. Now I'm going to use the matching dies to cut them out. For all the inking that I did I used oval sets by Altenew since they make my life so easy and I will list all the oval sets that I used down below in the description area. Now I'm working on a panel that is 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half and at the bottom of it I'm going to stick this strip of paper in black and white. Now I will decide where all the flowers are going to go just to have an idea of where everything will uh, end up and then uh, I will stamp the sentiment. My sentiment says start your day with a smile on your face and it comes from a set that I used yesterday with those uh, potted plants. And now it's time to put everything together. For some of the flowers and the leaves I will use tape adhesive at the back and stick them uh, completely flat on my card base and for others I am using foam squares to add dimension. Now to finish off my card I am going to add a few of those uh, gems. These are the June Crystals by Studio Katia and I love how they match the color of my flowers. And here is the finished card using this gorgeous stamp set which is very easy to use in terms of layering. It's very forgiving. Here's another new product, it's called Layered Snowflakes Die and it's a set of 5 dies. In between those snowflakes you will get so many different designs for your cards and uh, other projects that uh, probably you won't need any other uh, snowflake dies. The fun thing is that you can actually layer them one on top of the other to create a beautiful focal point which is exactly what I'm going to do today using this uh, silver cardstock by Tonic Studios and I will link that below and I will combine it with some glitter paper that I have here. I don't know if you can see how shiny this is again from Tonic Studios and I'm going to link to that as well. So I'm grabbing all the snowflakes here to die cut them. Now I want to alter alternate the cardstock so the first layer I want it to be white, the second silver and so on and so forth. So I'm using the layering guide here and uh, deciding where each of those snowflakes will go. After running them through my Big Shot here are all the snowflakes and they are so gorgeous and you can use them of course separately. However I'm sticking with the plan and uh, for the first two layers I'm going to use foam squares to stick them together. This way I will add some dimension but for the next three layers I'm going with glue. So I'm going to alternate again white, silver, white, silver and uh, I'm uh, also following the guide on the side. So here is the fourth layer and I'm adding glue at the center of my snowflake. And finally the last layer. 
and you will end up with a gorgeous snowflake with lots of shine and lots of dimension. Now with such a gorgeous focal point I'm not going to do too much for the background. I'm using this uh, blue cardstock and I'm going to add some uh, splashes. This is uh, white gesso that I have diluted with water and with the thin brush I'm adding some splashes all over and I'm uh, adding lots of splashes. I'm actually going to town here just because I want it to look as if it's snowing at the background. Now I have created my card base out of the silver cardstock that I used for the snowflakes. So I have some shine all around. I'm sticking the panel on top, the blue panel, and then on top again I'm going to stick the focal point. At the back I'm going to add some glue. You can go with uh, foam squares, but you will end up with uh, too bulky of a card. For the sentiment that I cut the word wishes, which comes from the holiday script towards die and I actually used the glitter white cardstock to cut it out. Now let's move on to another festive stamp set from this release. This is called Peace, Love, Joy and it gives you all those designs that you can stamp one on top of the other, again a layering stamp set, to create those beautiful embellishments. Now of course you can use them as they are, you don't have to stamp one on top of the other and I will show you an example. But let's take a look at the leaflet and see how gorgeous these turn out if you mix different colors. But for my card today I'm going to use all three of these designs without doing any layering. I want to keep everything red and white, just have that uh, scandy look and feel on my card. So I'm going with ruby red, I'm going to stamp the star and uh, the heart and I will also fit in that little snowflake. And it's always nice to use a Misty or any other stamping platform because with these um, solid images it's always nice to stamp them twice. Now I have used my uh, the matching dies to cut them out and as you can see I'm using my crop dial to add holes on each of those cutouts. This way I'm going to turn them into ornaments. I'm also going to add uh, a, a red eyelet. I had this in my stash for so long. I remember back in the days when eyelets and uh, even brads were super popular to work with and uh, we were adding them in pretty much every card. Now I'm going to thread through those holes some uh, twine in uh, white and red. I'm securing the twine at the back with some double-sided tape. Of course you can use scotch tape, that's what I had close by. And one of the favorite combinations of mine for Christmas cards is craft white and red, so that's what I'm going for here. Again, for the craft background I did some uh, splashes, just like I did for the previous card with gesso. And I'm using some uh, foam squares at the back of my ornaments and I'm going to stick them there. Now for two of the ornaments I'm going with foam squares, for the heart I'm going with uh, tape adhesive at the back. So you can see I ended up with a really gorgeous design and uh, it's a different take on this uh, layering stamp set. So use your layering stamp sets with the layers as uh, they are, but also use them without layering and you will end up with equally beautiful cards. Now I'm going to add this panel with foam tape at the back on top of my card base. For my sentiment I went with Peace, Love, Joy from the same stamp set and I completed my card by adding some uh, white dots with my Nouveau Drops. Now here is another new stamp set which is called Brilliant Bobbles and you can see how gorgeous this is. Another layering stamp set where you can end up with six different ornaments. Again for this stamp set there are matching dies available if you want to grab them and let's take a look at the leaflet for more inspiration. So here are some examples on how you can layer your stamps, how you can uh, go monochromatic or go completely crazy with your colors and how you can put them all together. Now I'm going to stamp one of my ornaments and I'm using a ruby red and then I will stamp a second layer with a darker shade. Now of course with this stamp set you can recreate the design of the previous card and um, for this card I will try and do something completely different. 
So here I am preparing my card for embossing and uh, for the third layer I will go with Versamark ink and then I am going to apply some white embossing powder. I'm going to heat set it and here is my beautiful embellishment after die cutting with a matching die. Now I'm going to cut these three letters out of this uh, gold cardstock. This is mirror cardstock by Nouveau. And I'm also going to cut out this tiny little piece which is uh, the part of where you hang the ornament. Now the three letters come from a new die set which is called Classic Alphabet. It comes with all the letters of the alphabet in a big uh, size. And here are all my cutouts ready to go. I have created a long card. This fits in a standard business envelope and it's uh, 9 by 3.5. So you have to cut out a piece 9 by 7 and just fold it in half. Now I'm going to use my ruler here just to make sure that I am going to stick everything completely straight and I will go with my glue and stick everything down. Now to spread out all those elements uh, correctly I like to add the first letter and the last letter first and then I will fill in the gaps with the rest of the elements. And instead of using the letter O I'm going to use my ornament in its place. And since I cannot keep anything flat I do have to add some foam squares at the back of the ornament to add my dimension. And of course you can hang the ornament with a twine like I did in the previous card. You can leave this card as it is but I'm going to take it a step further and I will use this stamp set that I showcased yesterday. I stamped some leaves and some berries and I'm going to use the matching dies to cut them out so that I can use them and embellish some of the letters just to make it uh, more festive looking and to add some uh, green on my card. This way I end up having a very traditional combination with reds, greens and some gold. Now I have cut out these thin strips of cardstock. This is the same gold cardstock as the one that I used for the letters. And I'm using my ruler to make sure that these are nice and straight. Just to add a line down there since I thought that it was complementing my whole card more. I'm going to cut off the excess and this is the finished card and I have to admit that this is my favorite card of all the 10 that I shared using the new release. And now let's move on to the last card for today. I will be showcasing this new stamp set which is called Candlelight and as you can see you can uh, use layers to create this candle, the little fire as well as tea lights. There are a bunch of different sentiments that you can use for birthday cards, for sympathy cards or even for sending prayers cards. And as always in the stamp set you will get the leaflet to give you more ideas on how you can put everything together, different color combos and I'm going to share a birthday card. So I'm going to work with the candle. The candle consists of three different layers. For the first layer I'm going with a lighter color and I will move on to the middle and to the darker color. And as you can see I'm going for a rainbow themed card here. So I'm stamping the same candle again and again with different color combos each time. Now I'm using the third layer that adds the darker shadow on the right side of the candle and I will continue doing the same thing for all the rest of the candles. I used the matching die to cut out all my six candles and now I'm going to stamp the wick on top by using black ink. Now I'm going to stamp the flames, six of them, and instead of using my misty I'm just using a stamping block there since I think it is quicker. Now for the rest of the layers I'm going to move on to a middle uh, color and then to a darker one. It doesn't really matter if I don't align everything completely straight. It is quite forgiving and I will be using the die to cut it out so it's going to look perfect at the end. Here I have a small white panel where I'm going to stamp my sentiment and for that I'm going with happy birthday and I combined one more sentiment from the same stamp set that says the more candles the bigger the wish. Now for some of the candles I have foam tape at the back to add dimension and others I'm going to stick them directly on top of my panel so they will lay completely flat. Now I need to make sure that I align them in a rainbow order and um, I need to also pay attention on how far up the candles can go since I need to stick the flames on top. 
I created my card base out of blue cardstock that matches one of my candles and of course you can use pretty much any color of the rainbow for your card base and to finish it off I'm adding some glitter on my flames. And here is my finished birthday card with all those shiny flames. And here are all the 5 cards that I made for today using products from the latest release by Altenew. If you haven't seen the other 5 cards that I shared yesterday, make sure to do so, you will find the link at the end of this video. Don't forget to let me know which one of those 5 cards was your favorite. Thank you all so much for watching and have a lovely weekend!